subscribe to the channel. Today I'm gonna to be talking about exactly how I set up my desk to maximize my productivity while still sort of feeling very comfortable and homey and just making it an enjoyable place to sit around for 12 hours a day. So let's get into it. First up we actually have is the desk itself. The desk I have is the Flexi Spot motorized adjustable desk. This is a pretty quote unquote cheap desk for the motorized adjustable standing desks. The flexi spot desk that I got specifically was the 55 by 28 inch. I wanted a desk with a lot of depth. I didn't want the 24 inch standard so that I was sitting so close to my monitor and I just like the extra space. Also because top of my desk, I put this Aotha dual monitor shelf. I like this shelf because it looks great and it's pretty cheap, especially if you compare it to some higher end models that are like $280. What I love about this is that it allows me to elevate a lot of the accessories. It helps me sort of create even more desk space. And the idea here is to sort of maximize the amount of real estate we have so that we can fit more things that keep us efficient and productive throughout the day. So next up is the chair. I love this chair. I was not a big believer in chairs. I didn't think that there was necessarily a huge difference between standard $50 chair and a 300 ergonomic chair. But what I can tell you right now is that this will change your life. Some of you may know, I'm actually studying for the MCAT right now to get into medical school. So I spend a lot of time sitting at my desk. I have the Suno ergonomic adjustable chair. The biggest thing for me is that it has adjustable armrests. You don't want your arms sort of pterodactyling up to the keyboard like this, because then you're gonna have a lot of wrist strain. If you have your arms at a right angle to your desk so that you don't even need to do anything. And so having those adjustable armrests are really helpful. So moving on from the chair, we get to actually the monitor itself. I'm using the Gigabyte G34 WQC 34 inch ultra wide monitor. This is a 1440p 144 Hertz monitor. I had a 49 inch ultra wide monitor. I downgraded because downgrade. I found that a lot of the real estate that I had in terms of screen space was overwhelming. 34 inches is really all I need for everything I want to accomplish. Finally, we get on to a very exciting part for me, the computer I use itself. I've wanted to build a computer for a very long time and last year I finally was able to do it. I'm actually using the NZXT H150 Elite. Inside of this baby, I have the Intel Core i7 10700K with an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 Ti Founders Edition. You don't know how long it took me to get that. This computer takes care of all of my needs. I also just think it looks really cool in the corner of my room, so. Now, I'm a big music guy. I love playing music. I love listening to music. So it mattered to me that I had some really nice speakers. I decided to invest in the Logitech Z533 wired speakers. I love the way that it sits on top of my desk. They sound amazing. Logitech comes in again with the Pro X gaming set. I like the sound on these. I actually don't think that it's my preferred headset that I've ever had before, but it does get the job done. The one thing I just don't like about this is that it's wired and the wire itself just isn't extraordinarily long. So I always find it sort of disconnecting from my headset if like playing Elden Ring and I get mad. I just whip my head like that. <laughs> So let's get on to lighting. Really good lighting is important, especially if you're spending a lot of time at your desk. So the first thing that I decided to invest in was a monitor light. The reason why I needed a monitor light bar is because it illuminates the entirety of my desk without any of the strain on my eyes. When I sit down at my desk like this, I can see everything on my desk and the light source is not in my eye. So that way I can have all my other lights turned off and I can see all of my peripherals and my books and everything. So I went with the basiest monitor light bar. There are other models that are quote unquote better, but I find that this does everything I absolutely needed to do. Now in terms of colors, I run the Philips Hue light bars with the light strip behind the desk. These have changed my life. I didn't think I was gonna like them as much as I did, I'll be honest with you. It really sort of separates your monitor and your desk space from the rest of the room. For instance, if I'm gaming late at night or even if I'm just doing work, I'll have like a soft focus light in the background. It creates a really warm and rich environment that I want to be in rather than I dread being in. Now the light bars and the light strip, they actually sync to the Philips Hue app. And what's awesome about these lights is that you can actually sync it with your video or your audio. If you watch anime, you gotta get these lights. I'll just say the Rengoku fight is the greatest piece of digital media I have ever seen. I'll cry again and again, I don't care. Next, let's move on to what exactly I use for recording in my studio work. The microphone I use right here is the Rode NT1 condenser microphone. The reason why I use a condenser microphone and why I specifically use the Rode NT1 is because it has an incredibly low self noise, meaning that when you just turn it on, 
there's not a lot of static noise that you can hear. I also use it because I am trying to do voiceover work. And so this is just a fantastic microphone. You can see when I get up really close, it's a very clear and deep sounding tone to it. You can hear all of the lower frequencies of my voice. It's just a good microphone. Attached to my Rode NT1 condenser mic, I have the Blue Compass Premium Boom desk mounted arm and connected to my Rode NT1, I use the Elgato Wave XLR. Elgato is like one of the best companies. I love all of their stuff. I'll use their cam link. I have their face cam. Speaking of which is next. So whenever I do any like streaming, I love to use this. It's super portable and light and it actually has an incredibly good lens in it. Just the, it just looks good. And the Elgato software that comes with it is just sort of like unbeatable. This is the first webcam that you can actually change the ISO setting as well as change like the shutter speed. Moving on to my peripheral. For my keyboard, I use the Rocat Vulcan. I like smaller keyboards. I one day want to get a 60% mechanical keyboard, but this is a fantastic keyboard. It's great for gaming. I love the sound it makes. I'm a huge fan of loud space bars. I know that's weird. It's a very responsive gaming keyboard, as well as it's fairly good for productivity. For my mouse, I use the Corsair Dark Core RGB. I think that you can get a better mouse than this. What I like about it is that it actually has like this little thumb rest. I know that some people don't like that. I do because I always find myself pressing into the bottom of like my desk whenever I'm using it. I get very stressed and very like tense arms whenever I do anything. So I don't know. It's a, it's, a, it's a good mouse. Finally, last but not least, and one of my most anticipated parts are the accessories. Now, how you choose to accessorize your desk not only says a lot about you, but it also just gives you a homey environment to sort of live in. So right off the bat, let's move into my favorite, Pops. I used to hate Pops. I thought they were stupid. All my friends were like, oh, this Pop just came out. It's so cool. I love pops. I think that they're just cool and you can sort of customize them to represent yourself in a lot of different ways. Next thing I have is the Nanami wireless phone charger. I did not know how much I would love a wireless phone charger. And this one I love a lot because it's very minimalistic, chic. I use an app called Forest to help track my focus sessions. So when I'm studying, I, I don't get distracted. So I always put my phone on a do not disturb and I'll set up my phone right here and I'll have the little timer that will tell me once my focus session is up and then I grow little trees. Check out Forest, it's really cool. Next on our desk in terms of accessories are the Dream Sky Digital Clock. These are really cheap. I like having the time because it tells me the time. The next thing I have that's sort of an accessory, not really, it's sort of like a big accessory, is my iPad Pro with the Magic Keyboard and the Apple Pencil. This is like a workhorse in terms of productivity. I can do so many things on this that I just can't do anywhere else. For instance, I can like download textbooks and then just edit them directly on that and then upload that to the note software. I can go entirely paperless with this. So whenever I wanna take notes or do something, I can always just draw and write and then I can upload it directly to whatever online platform I want, or if I want, I can just print them out and hand them in. It makes note-taking incredible. Another thing that I love about the iPad is that I love to draw, but I often find that I can never keep track of all of like my drawing materials. So I actually use Procreate, which helps me sort of take a break from studying. I'm also working on a fantasy map for a D&D campaign, which is really awesome. Next. Handy dandy PS5 controller. The PS5 controller is just superior to every controller in every kind of way. I don't care what your opinion is, just kidding, I do. I think the Xbox controllers are great. I don't understand the whole offset joysticks. It just doesn't doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Not much left to say about that. Next, I have the these Henri blue light glasses. I got these as a sophomore in college. They've seen better days. I think blue light glasses are really important because you wanna protect yourself from chronic exposure to blue light. There's a lot of evidence-based research that suggests exposure to blue light, especially later in the evening, uh, disrupts your circadian rhythm, which is responsible for your sleep cycles. So late at night or th all throughout the day, I generally try and keep these on as much as possible. Next, I have a secret weapon. This is a book stand. And what this essentially does is you set it up on your desk or wherever you want, 
and you just sort of put your book on it. What I love about this, it's like $10. It's saved my neck from years and years of chronic pain. So think about whenever you're at a desk or something and you have a textbook that's down on the ground. You are like looking down all the time, right? And looking up and down, looking up and looking down. Why? Get this thing for 10 bucks. It saves your neck an incredible amount of strain. I usually have my MCAT book set up on it so that whenever I'm doing notes and I'm listening to music and I have everything sort of where I need it to be. It kind of functions like a monitor stand for a book. That's how my digital mind thinks about it. So my headphones are mounted on an Avantri headphone stand. This is just sort of a simple looking headphone stand that I actually think looks really, really good. What I love about it is that it has sort of this compartment on the bottom that's technically made for like the wire of a headphone. I put all of my little accessories that I like to keep, my AirPods, my SD card, USB adapter, or any other sort of knickknacks and stuff that I just wanna keep around, but I don't really wanna lose. I think that every desk needs a good fake plan. Oops, just make your space bearable. Now, I always like to try and throw in one piece of artwork. Now this, this is art. I made this myself, actually. I don't know what his or her name is, but this elephant's very precious to me. I think he's cute. I like to just sort of set him up right here or wherever, and he just sort of lives with me like a pet. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching my little desk tour for 2022. Stick with me on my channel as over the next few months, we start to get into some more MCAT study sessions and, uh, hopefully get into medical school. And as always, we will see you guys in the next video.